Welcome back to Child Time Pause, your host, Red. Got a video today from Mankind. Attention-seeking modern woman get, finally gets a reality check by men. <laughs> Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. It's child time. Hey, babe. Okay, so rock, <clears throat> paper, scissors, shoe. And if you win, you get a kiss me. Are you ready? Just walk You're away. You're good? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I'm based. Would you ever date a trans woman? I think that's way too much. I don't blame you. Give me a question. Way too much. We need, we need Give me a question. How many girls need attention? No one. If you're pretty enough, you'll get attention. Is that why you came into this interview four times? Wow, that's so big. Hey, we're going. <laughs> you're not cool at all. You're a dick. Leave us alone. Excuse me. What would you rate me out of ten? Four. Fuck off, face. Okay. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. You look like if I was your dad, I'd leave you too. You look like your OnlyFans is free. Oh, Ooh. shit. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Man, What's your thoughts about short kids? You don't want to shoot shots against men. Men are very clever at fucking shooting back. Short kings, we have the biggest ego. I swear, they have like one shot with like a, like a tall bitch and they're like... Ah, I can get any fucking buddy. No, the fuck you can't. Like, you got fucking lucky. That's the point. Me? Yeah. What a fucking bitch. Am I right? <laughs> That's the point. Well, yeah. And you can't get lucky every time. I'm like, I know the shoes be showing I'm taller, but like, we low key to. It's crazy because she's Hispanic, but she looks so Korean in the face. <laughs> I, I, I get Korean features from her face. Same height. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn right. Shut the fuck up. They don't like you. I don't like you. Y'all don't got it like that. And y'all have the fake lips. <laughs> Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? <laughs> nope. These women got some fucking nerve, bro. Like, total lack of awareness. This idea that just because a man happens to be short, he's not allowed to be confident. Like, where do you get off? Honestly, because where does your confidence come from? It's like, I'm confident as fuck. I'm 5'7". Completely fabricated. Like you said, you got fake lips, but you also got caked on fucking makeup. You got <laughs> fake nails, fake lashes. Fake lashes. It looks like your hair is dyed. You, you, you probably got padding in your bra because it looks like you're flat chested. You yeah. got like three inches True. on on your platform sneakers. And not that I give a shit what you're wearing, but you're out for a night out and you're dressed like a seventh grader. So your style is shit too. So I ask you again. <laughs> the monkey on her chest is, is pretty funny because he has her own face on her chest. Again. Where does your fucking confidence come from? It is completely fabricated and it would disappear with one wet wipe. So why don't you shut the fuck up? Your mm -hmm. eyes are fucking beautiful. Look I'm not with this TikTok shit. <laughs> He's not with that TikTok shit, yeah! I'm not over there! Help. You're a four out of ten, no, go! No, I don't want to kiss. No. Get away from me! Bro, I'm scared! She's oh for the streets, God. she's a whore, she's a four. <laughs> oh, she's a whore, she's a four. I like that one. So she interrupts a random guy walking down the street who clearly wants nothing to do with her. She starts by sexualizing him and trying to force herself on him. And when he refuses and responds, she proceeds to physically assault him, kicking him, chasing him down the street and hitting him. Like, right. what the fuck? Honestly, I don't see any double standards on display here. Let's move on. Hey, pepperoni nipples. I still can't believe you let me do that to your face. Stay in touch with yourself. <laughs> you're not 7.5 inches. I'm 7.5 inches. You've never sniffed 7.5 inches. I've sniffed it. No, you're 6.5. On the greatest day of your life, you're 6.5. With my new measuring technique, I'm a solid 7.5. That's because you're measuring from your asshole. Does it look like I care? <laughs> Whatever it takes, all right? Whatever it takes. Man driving a car hits a woman. Whose fault is it? The man's. Why was he driving in the kitchen in the first place? Okay, I got admit that was humorous. Women who have cheated in a marriage have 230% more partners before they're married than women who don't cheat in a marriage. Oh, it is a fucking surprise. So there happen. is a now data showing a scientific correlation for, between high body count and a likelihood of a woman cheating in a relationship. Now, the data is over. The, the question that you had on here before, that's a fun question to ask, we don't have to ask anymore. Does body count matter? The answer is yes. Oh! 
Can you believe it? I gotta say, I was blindsided here, guys. Another study with results that I never would have expected in a million fucking years. But look, honestly, I don't know if you noticed, there's been a lot of these popping up in the videos lately. Research and studies and, and experiments where you're just like, I already fucking knew that. But at the end of the day, it's the empirical data that we need to prove the point definitively. We need the empirical data, otherwise these women are just gonna continue to, to play mental gymnastics and shame men so that they can live outside of reality and avoid any accountability or consequences to their poor choices. Oh, the hell? Bitch. Standing on the train and look at all these men. What happened to giving up your seat for women? No man offered me a seat. Excuse me, are you going to get up? What? Are you going to get up? Are you pregnant? No. Are you for equality? Yes. Well. No respect. <laughs> Chivalry is dead. Equal rights for all. Yay! Yeah, she's right. Chivalry is dead, or it's at least dying, and it's no fucking mystery who killed it. Hey, just a quick daily reminder, if you're enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, you know the drill. I appreciate you. Let's get right back into it. There's certain jobs women should not do. Mm -hmm. There's a few jobs women shouldn't do. President, senator, congressman, cop, doctor, <laughs> lawyer, fire department, Banking, financial tech, math, higher education, uh, any education above third grade, uh, a chef, a manager of a hotel, CEO or CFO, COO, CIO of a company, investing, VC, venture capital, driving, driving Ubers, Lyfts, cabs, um, working at uh, aquariums or zoos or hotels, entertainment, you know that's not ridiculous that's not ridiculous to say that i don't know man i mean this seems awfully reasonable he didn't even mention construction military anything like that bro is definitely a feminist the folk you can have tinder on your your pc i didn't even know that i thought it was only a phone app we got one, and it's a dude. Fuck! Talk to me. Every time. Man, this is some bullshit! <laughs> Every time. Give a woman a choice. Date a 20-year-old male virgin or a 40-year-old successful male lawyer who's bedded 100 plus women. The lawyer wins every time. For sure. Give a man that exact choice with females in those exact positions. The lawyer will lose. Nobody cares that the 40 year old is a successful lawyer. Right. So. Boom. Yeah, it may be different for men and women, but this is why. Stop trying to force us to accept your poor choices. It's really clear cut when you put it like this. There's no arguing it. I just think it's a really sad statement towards modern women and feminism when this has become your fight. This long drawn out fight over what? So that women can get ran through as much as possible and force men to accept it. Because what? Because you got no self-control. Modern women don't give a fuck about what men want. And they want to go through life without facing any consequences to any of their bad choices. But I got news for you. It does not work like that. Stop being disrespectful and asking if my one. girl's pregnant. She's not pregnant, okay? If she wants to gain weight, if she wants to eat all day, and she don't want to go to the gym, and she don't want to go on a diet no more, if she doesn't want to care about her health, and she doesn't want to look good anymore it's okay okay that's on her this is her thing and i support her okay all right if she don't want to go to the doctor and figure out there's issues if she wants to stay constipated that's on her it's her decision so leave her alone she's not pregnant wow man uh... damn being loved is a female trait be completely unlovable be a man <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, True. wait a minute. Oh, major I love this. In my soft guy era. So I, I haven't seen this one in a while. It's nice to get back uh, to it. Bulb for my uh, car. Uh, and gone out and I was looking in the manual to see which um, exact bulb I needed. And someone, some woman came up to me and asked me where the car floor maps were. Uh, it's such a major ache I took. I yelled at her at the top of my voice. <laughs> Do not approach men in public, you creep. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Such a nick. <laughs> That's what you get. So it looks like this so-called soft guy era is underway, gentlemen. 
But look, you know what I find funny about all this bullshit, all the bullshit going on right now? Is that most women really don't fucking see that all of it is a response to their action. Yep. But they are so used to pointing the finger, blaming other people, shaming men, calling them sassy, that nothing ever changes, it just gets worse. I mean, they don't even see that Drizzle Drizzle is a complete mockery of the Sprinkle Sprinkle Bitch, who is a perfect mascot for why all this bullshit is happening in the first place. True. But if I had to guess, I'd say that most of the guys saying Drizzle Drizzle right now don't actually want to be doing this shit because it's not in men's nature. But I'll tell you what men don't want even more. That'd be me. I say Drizzle Drizzle. I do all the Drizzle you know, like I cover it a lot. But I don't fully do all the Drizzle Drizzle things. I still pay on the first dates. I still do certain things just because that's me. You know, I, I get the whole movement. I work, I try my best, but it's just hard. I'm just used to that. I'm a, that type of personality to take care of those types of things. More. Men don't want to bend over backwards anymore for women who are ungrateful, <clears throat> self-entitled, self-centered, and selfish. And that's what a lot of modern women have become. These, these insufferable ego monsters who expect everything but offer nothing in return. So you can either learn to change or learn to live with it because you made your bed, now lay in it. Mm -hmm. Drizzle, drizzle, baby. I am in a league of my own here, ahead of everyone in the game, by a country mile. I am finding it hard to even engage with anyone in the game, because they are not on my level. Not one single individual in this company is on my level. Oh, okay, 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 okay. If you had to do for your whole life be sticky or itchy, which would you choose? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that. Shoutouts to Mankind and shoutouts to Soft Guy Era. It's really helped a lot of men out figuring out their self-worth and actually putting standards for themselves and for the women that they want to be with. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that and I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.